sort of putting down my mark, Mr. Evans. Like some coffee? Thank you, Mr. Peasley. Yeah. Thank you. You got $300 coming, Mr. Evans. You bring that homestead paper. Oh, I brought it, Mr. Peasley. Yes, indeedy. I was most careful in duplicating the original. The creek shown to be on your quarter section and not the McKayan. So anyone examining the land book would never be able to prove the creek is not on your quarter section. Well, Mr. Evans, you're a man of prime talent. Why, thank you. You gonna count it? By the way, Mr. Peasley, I... I've been asking around about you. And I hear that years ago, you and Deb McCann had a violent dispute about something or other. Yeah, we had a little run in. What else do you hear? Oh, just that McCann bested you in some way. You vowed to even the score one day. I'm wondering what's going to happen when the McCanns get back and you two finally meet up. Uh, you know what I always say, Mr. Evan, let bygones be, never hold a grudge. You know how people talk. By the way, did the McCayan women put up much of a fuss when uh, you offered to share the water? Well, they argued a bit the creek ought to be theirs, but they were glad enough to share the water. Share the water? But didn't they seem to want more than just water rights? I don't follow you. Well, I explained to the McCain women that I was certain you would allow them to continue using creek water. Then the youngest, I believe her name was Jessie, she started to say something about it wasn't the water they were interested in. What was it? I don't know. But something. And I just can't get it out of my mind. I was intending to see that you got a fair share, Mr. Evans, but I'm going to have to let you in on it now. Got us gold find. Gold find? That's right. I knew it was something. I just knew it. Oh, right, take yourself a pan full of bottoms. Take a look. I knew it. <laughs> How big a strike do you think it is, Mr. Peasley? Well, I haven't probably scouted the area. Can't say for sure. That's it. You're not going to have a financial worry the rest of your life, Mr. Evans. 